Hi everybody, this is Andrew from uh, Tutorial Soup. Now, I wanted to show you um, in this tutorial how to make a better looking asteroid because uh, currently the one we're using in the game is pretty rubbish. It's a kind of quick, uh, quick image I created in paint, I think it was, and I just wanted to have some kind of object that I could manipulate and uh, use in the game, but I think it's time to create something a bit better. So uh, there's actually a very good video um, by Andy Price on how to make a realistic looking asteroid. Um, I'll leave the link up um, um, on the video um, when I've uh, finished. And it's, it goes into some depth on compositing and how to animate an asteroid field and it's really really good really good um, but we're going to just be using the first part of that video which is to create a nice looking asteroid um, if you wanted to go on, on and have a look I suggest you do because it's a really good video uh, but that's Andy Price um, I'll leave the link up on the video as I said so we are going to start off um, if you open up Blender if um, if you've watched any of the early tutorials you'll, you'll notice I used the um, use Blender to create the ship itself um, that was quite a while ago, so you should, you'll probably be familiar with Blender anyway if you're, um, if you've watched all the tutorials. If not, um, just go to Blender. Uh, Blender. Org. You can download it for free. It's a free, um, 3D modeling uh, program. Right. We are going to start off with the basic cube, which is uh, what you see when you first open up Blender. But what we want to do is we want to add a modifier so we go over to the spanner or wrench whatever you want to call it um, add a subdivision surface now we want to put this up to max so we're going to put it um, up to six we're going to add smooth shading um, now that looks pretty smooth uh, we want to add a material, so we go to this round um, button up here, um, and we're going to call this displace. Um, that will make sense uh, soon. Why well, I've called it displace. Um, we also now want to add a new texture, which is this checkered square box over here and we're going to use the clouds texture and we want to add um, we want to increase the size to uh, 1.05 and I'm going to put the depth to about 6 actually no we we'll put it to 9 um, now what we're going to do with this texture we're going to use this um, to create the look of the asteroid and I'm going to show you how um, we're going to go back into the modifiers we're going to add another modifier um, underneath the um, under, uh, underneath the subsurf modifier subsurface modifier um, we're going to call it displace so displace um, when you click on it at first it, it just kind of makes the image bigger but what we want to do is we want the texture we created here which is the cloud texture um, yeah which is the cloud texture we now want to use that um, in our um, in our displacement so if we if you click on the little checkered box there um, we're going to use that texture as the displacement um, so that's looking pretty cool I mean that's that's from that's we haven't really done much at all to that to, to get it looking pretty much like an asteroid already. Um, so if we render that now, it not only is it purple, but it kind of it looks like an asteroid, but it doesn't look it doesn't actually the the, the texture doesn't look very much um, asteroid like. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to textures. Um, yep, back to textures. Um, 
actually I think what we could put on is we could actually also put some um, I think he put some in the Andrew Price's video he puts a little bit of uh, normal mapping on so which gives it a bit more depth to the to the image so if we render that now that looks a little bit more detailed So yeah, so now what we want to do, what we want to do now is we want to add um, another texture. Um, we used, we created one texture um, for displacing, uh, displacing the um, object so it looked like an asteroid. But what we want to do now is we want to create um, a new uh, material and another texture. So we're going to create a new material and we're going to call it. We're going to call this asteroid texture. Actually, asteroid texture. Um, first of all, with the material, actually, with the um, if we go back to displace for a second, if we take the specularity or specular down to zero. That takes the shine off the asteroid. There's not going to be many asteroids that shine in space, so uh, you want to kind of take the specular down, the specularity. Um, now, if we go back over to the asteroid texture, we are going to go to new. Now, we instead of using the, def the default clouds that we did for the uh, displacement, we are going to add an image or movie. Now we want to create, uh, or we want to use a, an an image um, that we're going to wrap around the asteroid. Um, now CGI Textures is a good website to go to to find. Um, Various different textures for your models. Um, I typed in red rock or rock red as I did it there, um, and it came up with quite a few cool looking rocks. Um, the first ones uh, I like the most, so I'm going to click on that. And you want to find you want to find one which is tiled, um, so that it will wrap around the model better. So I am going to right click on that image and save it into my desktop so I'm going to save it on there as whatever that is now if I go back into Blender so I've added it as I've added the new texture as an image or move I want to go down here to open up the actual texture I'm going to use so I navigate to the desktop click on the texture now you won't see it on here, but if you render, nothing will happen. What I think I need to do is, I think I need to, I'm just going to go into, uh, I'm going to press the tab key and go into edit mode. What I can do is I can make sure everything's selected using the A, A, A um, to deselect and select everything. Um, now with the asteroid texture, um, Highlighted. I'm going to click a sign. Now, if I come into object mode, if I render it again, there, there you see it. So it actually, it's actually assigned the texture to the to the object. Um, so if you if you if, if the same thing happened to you when you um, when you added the materials and it didn't um, appear on your render, just uh, just go into edit mode, which is in the tab key, and then just assign whichever texture you want to the object that's highlighted. Right, now you'll notice that the... Oh, I, don't wanna, I don't want to render an animation, come out. You'll notice that if... Um, now you'll notice that if you render 
the image it looks a little bit distorted in places um, one thing that will help that is if we change the mapping coordinates to rather than it being flat you want it spherical so we want to select sphere um, that should make it look a little bit better which it does it's pretty cool already um, we also want to do is we want to take the specular down so it takes off the shine Oops, sorry take the specularity down um, by going that, that's by going into materials um, we also could add a bit of normal mapping which will make it stand out a little bit more Add a bit more. Still a little bit distorted there. Um, let's add a bit of more. A bit more uh, uh, normal mapping. Yeah, I mean that's 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 more acceptable for our game um, if you follow the Andrew Price videos his his looks a lot better than this his um, his, his model kind of turns out a bit better I think maybe it's the texture I'm using you could change the you could change the texture to a, a higher quality one but I think by just manipulating this a little bit more this should work quite well for our game um, as I said watch the Andrew Price video it's a lot better um, it gets a better result but this is good for what we want to do um, I think what we might do is we might just add a bit of environment uh, environment lighting. So if you go into the world, um, the world icon up here, you can add a bit of lighting to it. You don't want to add too much. So I'm going to take this down. Let's try 200 and 10. That will light it up a little bit more so it stands out a bit more. Maybe take that down to 190. Yeah, that's not too bad. Now, we could do, we could. I mean, at the moment, it, the camera is up here, so it's taking a kind of bird's eye view of the asteroid. I mean, we can choose a side we want to render um, by changing the position of the camera. Um, first, a good uh, a way of a way of adjusting the camera um, more effortlessly is if you if you press N to bring up this uh, little uh, menu tab, whatever you want to call it um, you can lock the camera to view um, if you press N to get rid of that you can now go into the camera view and we can actually move the camera about and that will stay wherever we leave it so if we choose a side we want to render so let's try this side. Now if I can if I go back to front view, you'll notice that the camera moved to where uh, to where I was, I was looking. Now if we render this, that's quite close up. Um, yeah, the image is quite distorted still, so I think I might possibly move the camera out a little bit. You can do this manually by selecting the by selecting the camera and uh, grabbing it. So pressing G and moving it on the Y axis possibly a little bit by pressing Y. 
Let's render that again. Just going to go back into the camera view. By holding down shift and um, using the middle mouse wheel, you can kind of scroll up and down. And if you used control in the middle mouse wheel, you can go uh, middle mouse wheel. You can go uh, left to right um, as well. So that's quite a useful little thing to have. And uh, also the mouse wheel acts as the zoom in and zoom out, so that's quite handy to use. It's pretty essential to have a, a mouse with three buttons. Always come unstuck. Um, so if we go back, come out of that, and render that again. That's not perfect, but I'm going to use it for the game because I think that will um, play around with it. You can get a much better, um, much better result than that if you use a better texture. Perhaps um, give it a little bit more depth. Or again, watch the Andrew Price video if you want a, a more in-depth video. But this is going to be just be a brief, a brief video just to create the asteroid for our game. Um, now we haven't actually saved it, so what we need to do is. Save that. Make sure you save it regularly. I'm going to call it Big Asteroid and save. Now, in order to export this as an image file, if you go back to the camera icon at the top there, um, it will show what, it shows where the output is, and it, at the moment it's um, it's whenever we render it, it's um, outputting it to the temp folder. Um, we want to make this. Um, our HTML canvas games folder. So if we change that, now I'm going to actually render it as animation. Um, because whenever I try and render it as an image, someone else might know the reason for this, but if I render as image it doesn't tend to it won't appear in the folder um, whereas if I render as animation you can stop it after the first or second second one and it should have exported yep so there's two bars exported um, someone else who may no reason for that, it's probably just me being stupid. Um, but I always render as animation because um, it gives me the outputs to the folder. So now it's output the file like that. Um, as I said you can muck about with it, it's still got a lot of distortion um, on the asteroid itself but that should still do fine for our, our example. So I'm going to quit out of Blender now. I'm going to come out of that website. Move my gadgets around. Now I'm going to go into GIMP, which. Um, Yep, that took absolutely ages to load that up. I should have um, warmed that up before I um, made the start the tutorial. Um, so now we are in here. We are going to open up our asteroid. Both of these are the same, so you can delete one of them. If you want, um, I'm going to open that one up. Now we have the image uh, loaded up. We are going to use the magic tool, the magic pen to select. Now, if we right-click with this selection tool, we 
can go to select invert that should just select the asteroid and then we want to click on image and fit canvas to selection um, what you want to do is you want to select the area in fact it might have been better to do this um, before I shrunk the size but if you delete the background so we just want the alpha layer, uh, alpha layer. So, um, what I might do is still looking a little bit um, dark, so I might just go to the brightness and contrast and bring the brightness up a little bit. Um, perhaps add a bit of contrast there. So, now I'm going to save that as asteroid 2 and uh, save it as PNG export save now if we cut out GIMP and there you go we have our new asteroid. Now, I'm just going to delete these. Actually, I might keep hold of that one. Um, now, you can jump in to the code now and just swap these images out if you like. I'm going to leave it to the next tutorial because I'm going to show you how to um, rotate the asteroid. Um, so you can jump in now and change sort these images out and see what it looks like I'm going to save that for the next tutorial because uh, there's a few more things we need to cover um, by all means try and make a better asteroid if you can I mean my my texture um, I don't think was that great but find a texture that's going to give you the detail um, and without any kind of uh, distortion when looping the texture um, yeah great I uh, hope everyone uh, enjoyed that um, tutorial I hope it helped a little bit. Um, Blend is a great modeling program to use. You know, if you're not if you're not great with graphics like me, you know, you can just quickly jump in and create something um, that's pretty cool. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the, this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one.